What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna to give you three different ways on how to sync your music videos, including how to sync those tricky slow motion clips that don't have any audio and are slowed down. If you guys are new to my channel here, I do lots of editing tips, I do behind the scenes to music videos, and I talk about camera gear and stuff like that. If you guys are returning into my channel, thanks for coming back. So a while ago, I created a video on how to edit a music video, and I covered syncing, but a lot of people talked about other ways that you can sync music videos, so I wanted to compile all those ways into one video and show you guys all the different ways you can sync and when and why you should sync it that way. So, all right guys, so I have a song right here. I'm gonna use this music video that I directed, Blessed by I Am Sue. It just had the most diverse footage and red footage is pretty tricky to sync, so that's why I wanted to bring it in. This method is automatically gonna sync everything for you. So what we wanna do is we have all our clips in here that have audio. I'm gonna hit Command A, Control A, then I'm gonna come over to create multi-camera source sequence. Then I'm going to, then I'm gonna make sure on our synchronized point, I have audio selected, and then pretty much these settings should be good, and I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna let it do its thing right there. So you might get that error right there, but I'm gonna double click this, and this should be our sequence. I'm gonna drag that sequence actually right into here, and then we can actually click into it, and once you click into it, we should be all synced up. And we should see everything with audio is synced up. We have everything muted at the bottom except our track. And let's see. Synced. Let's take that. Using the multicam sync works most of the time when you have really good audio. But there's a lot of the times where it doesn't work perfectly and you don't have the best audio or you don't have audio at all. So I'm gonna show you two different ways that you guys can sync that up. So sometimes when you film on red, you don't get audio, sometimes you do. So uh, one of the first ways that I like to sync is one thing that I'll do is I'll play the song. And usually when I record music videos, I'll record the entire take. So what I'll do is I'll actually uh, use the letter M on my keyboard and I'll create a marker. So I'm looking for somewhere right where the beat drops or the artist starts singing somewhere that's very distinct that you can almost see on the uh, wave format. So when I play this through, I'm listening, I'm getting ready to press M. So I know there's like a bass drop right here. So I'm gonna press M right on the bass drop. Right there on that first little one. So now what I would do is when I go to one of my clips, I'm gonna play it. And we have audio on these clips. So this is one way we can sync these. So what you can also do, instead of pressing M on the actual clip, so there's two different ways you can do this. I pressed I, so what I did right there is I pressed I, so that's gonna be our end point. So if I just drag this, uh, just the clip right here in, and drag it right there, it should be in sync now. Turn that down. So you can see it's already in sync. Um, another way we could do that, let's say, instead of pressing I, and I hit M. So what that's gonna do is when I drag that in, let's not bring in the audio, we do not need that. Um, we can drag it in and they're gonna snap right together. So that's another cool way to do it. That's probably a little bit better just in case you ever accidentally move it off. You can resync it pretty quickly because it has that locking point. Um, if it's a little bit off, you can easily just pre hold Alt or Option depending on Mac or PC and use your arrow keys to move it back and forth. I'm gonna move it to the right a little bit. So this is actually a 36 frame per second um, performance, so there's no audio. So this is actually a slow motion performance. I sped up the song and then I recorded this in slow motion. So to sync this one up, it's gonna be a little bit tricky because there's no audio. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're actually just gonna wanna look for the mouth movements and after watching a few performances, usually I'll sync everything but this, just so I can learn what the artist does. So like if he does specific hand movements on certain beats, I can sync that up and I know where that is. So this kind of takes a little bit longer to sync, but sometimes you don't have audio on red footage for some reason. So it's a little bit tricky, but you should be able to sync it up still. So as you can see, there's no audio on this take. So I'm waiting, I'm watching. It looks like that's right when the song starts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drag that in right around where the song starts. And let's see if we can just play around with it and sync it up. I'm gonna move it. 
So we can kind of see he says text there, but he's a little bit off. I'm just holding Alt or Option and I'm just tapping back and forth to try and get it on. And then just re-hit the spacebar button so you can see, so it can catch up and it can resync, and you can kind of see what it looks like. So that's pretty much how I sync the slow motion footage. And here's another tip for you guys. So let's say you have a slow motion clip that's already slowed down and it has no audio and you want to speed it back up to 24 frames per second so you can actually sync it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go to modify, interpret footage, and you're going to assume the frame rate. So let's say you film this in 60 frames per second, you would just type in 60. You want to know what the camera specifically said. Sometimes the reds say 59.97. 120 you just want to know the exact number that you want to type in so this way when you do that let's say i type this in i think we actually recorded this one at 36 frames per second so this performance is a slow motion performance but that's how it looks at full speed so i'm going to mute it so you can see it's full speed now from there you do the same thing with syncing slow motion you're going to have to match the artist's lips or hand movements in the song here's another tip to see what frame rate you filmed at if you're on a red you can right click and go to properties and then let's expand this out. So there's shutter fractions right here. Um, so this will help you find the frame rate that you filmed at. So if I take that into calculator, 72 divided by two, you wanna divide it in half, you're gonna get 36. So that's a cool way to find out what film rate you filmed on on a red if it's like some type of slow motion so you could actually type in 36 and then it's going to get you back to 24 frames per second once you interpret that footage you're still able to slow it back down it basically becomes like a 60 frame per second it basically so you could do speed ramp slow motion and stuff like that comment down below let me know what way you guys sync your music videos i try to respond to every comment and if you guys want to get in touch with me, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I try to respond to every DM as well. I appreciate you guys watching today. Consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you know the next time I drop a video. I'm Tyler Casey. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.